Now that I have reached three score years and ten, I hope you will forgive me for looking back over my life, and how our understanding of the state of the universe has changed. I was born on January 8, 1942, exactly 300 years after the death of Galileo. However, I estimate that about 200,000 other babies were also born that day. Stephen is an inspiration to countless young researchers who've been attracted into studying physics and mathematics. He's helped these subject areas to be perceived in a very positive light, full of intellectual excitement and challenge. And through his courage and personal triumph over disability, Stephen offers a beacon of hope and encouragement for those in difficult circumstances everywhere. The whole world should honour uh, Stephen on his 70th birthday. And just a remarkable individual, uh, both personally uh, having overcome uh, incredible adversity. Um, uh, to have lived such a wonderful long life, such an incredible life, we're hopeful that by this Christmas Virgin Galactic will have its, its first uh, uh, trip into space and we hope soon afterwards that we'll be able to give Stephen a taste of space and if anybody in this world deserves a taste of space, it's Stephen Hawkins. It has been a glorious time to be alive and doing research in theoretical physics. Our picture of the universe has changed a great deal in the last 50 years and I'm happy if I have made a small contribution. Oh look, I, I mean, Stephen Hawkins is, has been an inspiration to millions and um, and, um, uh, you know, pity that he's not 100% well today, um, but uh, big, big hugs and uh, let's hope he gets well very, very soon. Try to make sense of what you see and wonder about what makes the universe exist. And however difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. It matters that you don't just give up. So remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet.